I saw some mistletoe. It did. Want to go for a walk? <laughs> I can give it those kisses freely. You don't need the mistletoe. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly Billy. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. It's a driving day. We run about 1,400 RPM, 65 miles an hour. Get about 8 miles to the gallon. We're going to stop down here in Huai, Arizona. And um, I don't know why they call it Huai. We're going to get some diesel fuel. This is south of Ajo on the way to Oregon Pipe National Monument. There was a stoplight, so I stopped. Well, here's one of the things that you need to think about <laughs> if you're going to drive a big rig. That's the prettiest store in town. Actually, it's the only store in town. Why Arizona? Why Arizona? Why Arizona? Why not? There we go. I have the camera pointed at me. I do. Yeah, so I could tell the story. You gonna tell the story? Uh, I don't have any story to tell. What kind of a story should I tell? Uh, about, tell one about cauliflower. Cauliflower? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a subject. I don't understand a story about cauliflower. You don't have, you don't have it? No, no, no. I used to say I could tell a dirty joke if you just gave me a subject. And I could tell a dirty joke about cauliflower. But I'm not going to tell a dirty joke on YouTube. No way. So? Give me a song. Give me, you know my stories. You've heard every one of them for 46 years. I know. Pick a story. Boring. Well, to you, yeah. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. How about... Wild donkeys. Wild donkeys? Yeah. I don't remember a story about wild donkeys. Uh, wild donkeys and Oatman. Yeah. Oatman. Oatman. Oatman is part of Route 66 up above Jerome, yeah. Arizona. Yeah. And the donkeys, wild girls, yeah. come right in the restaurant when you're having lunch. Yeah. That's the donkey story? Yeah. Oh. I I thought you were even talking about some of my other donkey stories. I got more than one donkey story. Okay, well tell another one. In um, Custer State Park in South Dakota, there are wild burrows. Burrow. And they come up to you and they want uh, pets and scratches behind the ears. They're very friendly. And yes, sir. If you drive around in the park and you get by some of them and your window's down there, stick their head right in your window. And drool. And drool, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we used to buy carrots before we went out there to feed them carrots. I wonder if they like cauliflower. <laughs> oh, you did get a cauliflower in there in the story. Yes, huh? I did. Remember that one time I got in trouble? That one time? <laughs> how, no. many, how many no, 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 no. Hair, hairbrushes did you go through? We're not talking about my whole life. We're talking about when I was with the donkeys. Oh! I got in trouble for eating the carrots myself. Look at, there's a... There's a... Word. It's a cow Tidal. yard. It's a cow yard. Uh, uh, they kill them there. There's like plows thousands and thousands of Herefords out there. That's uh, a, actually, that's Black Angus. Oh my god. Yeah, like thousands and thousands. Well, stop saying that. Yeah, they're going to kill them and eat them, but they don't have to be saying that. We made last week. It's 
so, oh, you, the what? Oh, the pot roast? Yeah. It was very good pot roast, yes, and all of our friends enjoyed it too. Does that come to mind because you're looking at the black angus? Yes. <laughs> and what we're talking about? We're talking about the donkeys. Oh. No, we weren't talking about cauliflower. I was. Okay, so here's another donkey story. My little Suzuki on the cobblestone streets in Ahi, Mexico, can make the U-turn and the donkeys. They look at you and go, wow. I didn't think I was big enough to turn on. No, I messed that up. Never mind. And yeah. Booper. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, you just tell me, though. I think I'm on a donkey story. Oh, no, I got a donkey story. Okay. There's a fly. Where's the fly? It's Where's flying the fly? around your head. That's number 537. Yeah. I can't tell the donkey story. Why? Naughty? It's kind of, yeah. Um, well, never mind it. It's man. a Buddy Hackett story. Oh, well, you can't tell Buddy Hackett's story. Um, I'm trying to, I'm thinking if I could clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Just say cauliflower instead of the word that you it's can't not. say. Okay, well. Salesman stops at a farmhouse door. Oh. <laughs> and, the, and, and the little 10-year-old boy comes to the door and the salesman says, Do you know that your father is out in the back 40 having an affair with a donkey? No, a donkey. You know, I'm telling this story. Oh, okay. Do you know your father's out there having an affair with a donkey? And the kid says, Oh, he always does that. <laughs> Stopped for lunch in a gravel pit. A friend of mine in Mexico told me that when he came to Mexico from Canada in his motorhome, he always stayed in gravel pits all the way through the United States. Hey Lynn, look, there's a woodpecker on the hummingbird feeder, and he can't figure out how to get any. The, oh, there. Oh actually figured out how to get some. <laughs> He's tipping it. The hummingbirds are not liking it. The hummingbirds are going to chase him off. Let's see if they're going to peck him. That's my favorite bird. I'm going to go over here and talk to a very nice and interesting couple that I met. Her name is Flower and he's Rocker, so they like to be called the Flockers. So we have the school bus. And t tell me again, first of all, why you had to paint it? Well, our, our original trip out of uh, Las Vegas, where we're out of, we pulled into Oregon of all places. We thought cool place to go and um, we, we, were, we were stopped yeah in order to tell us to paint the bus because it was too yellow it was too it and looked it, too much like a school bus it looked too much like a school bus and their 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 state law says that you have to have it painted really so we intended to stay a while so we we went to the beach yeah and all the material we needed and we painted it in sand you painted it in sand 
Yeah. That's sand. This that's is a blue. Sand. This is a bluebird, right? Blue oh, bird. I see the bluebird. And, yeah. and if you see up front, she's got a name on top. Yeah, come around here. Follow me. You guys want to tell me your names? I'm Flower. You're Flower. You're the, yeah, and I'm Rocker. And you're Rocker. And then this is this is Sandy. Sa <laughs> Sandy. Right. So it's all different types of sand, and the front is double coated. <laughs> So it takes the brunt of everything. Yeah. And it's real thick, real thick sand on it. And it stays real good. Wow. Maybe. It, uh, so now, what, how'd you get to sand this? Sand the oh, stick so, on it? Yeah, so we sanded it down. We sanded Sandy. And then I did, and, and one section at a time, took a Rust oleum paint. And then took the, so we were right on the beach. I just took the sand and threw it right on there. Really? And it's stuck. And it's stuck. We put it on really thick with paintbrushes. Yeah, real um, thick. Amazing. Well, my mother, who's 101, is going to love this because <laughs> her name is Sandy. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. We're de definitely desert rats. We love the sand and the desert and the, and the beach and the sand and all that. And all of our friends named Sandy were always awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's a good name. So... Flower, show me what's going on inside the bluebird. Well, here we have the garage. The best part of the garage is always inside the doghouse right here. I'll show you, but it's full of stuff. Doghouse. You don't have a dog. We do not have a oh, dog. You, oh, you mean the engine cover. No, right, correct. Right. <laughs> now, the first four seats. Oh, you still have the seats in it. She came with cool. nine seats. These have a juvenile drop down, so we can carry three-year-olds. Yeah. We could have mommy and me day trips. Uh-huh. I kept these things because... They're extremely versatile. These four are bolted down. We put a pole here and a pole here. We hang our tie dyes here. All our vending stuffs here. This is pigskin. No, it's just regular school bus stuff. Well, it's simulated pigskin. <laughs> You're right. It is simulated. <laughs> These our air conditioners usually don't see them on the inside. Yeah. Both of the compressors out. It costs two hundred dollars to fix either one. These were air vents. Yeah. So we cut them out and sanded them out. They make excellent storage yeah. up there. Yeah, you got a lot blow, of storage. Blow, blow nice air out. Because yeah, we don't have anything Did, any underneath storage. Was it blue inside? Yes. yes. Just like well, this. well I th no, blue. because it says emergency, you didn't paint over that. No. Uh, all right. These be at back five chairs. One, two, three, four, five. They're on a track system right here. It's called an L track. Yeah. There's four up down here, four down here. You got the whole length of the bus. We can put these anywhere we want in the bus. They work as great clamps. Right now we've got them set up for like dining. We've yeah. This table I made with no legs right here, so you don't bang your legs getting in. And then the back section was empty, so they could strap down wheelchairs. Again, we've got a lot of L track back here, so if we get the hardware for L track, we can yeah. erector set things. So when you're talking about L track here, I, I want to take a close up mm -hmm. of it. You're talking about that stuff right, right there, there, and it goes right? all the way along both sides of the bus, right. and, mm -hmm. the and there's things that fit into it. Exactly right. And that was to accommodate the handicap. This was a wheelchair lift right here, and it still works. It's got a remote control. This door swings open. This this is the t it folds out like this. This is a, a piece of wood that's stuck in you that we made this to go right here to hold our camp chef. Well, hey, if you put your camp chef on a gimbal, you could just do the wheelchair lift out. It would swing down like that, and you could be cooking outside. That's exactly right. You push this to the end of the wheelchair. It stops at any level, and you could serve off the end of the lift. Or you could just take it outside and set your kitchen outside. Yeah. We kept it very versatile. The bed right here is a piece of plywood yeah. on three metal saw horses where we keep the farm jacks and camping equipment and other things like that. We keep her extremely simple, extremely versatile. We could put 12 bikes back here, 12 riders up front. Rocker could feed them. I could drive and charge them all $200 for a weekend. <laughs> it's a good plan. <laughs> We'd like to have her pay for herself yeah, one day. Yeah, we pay for herself eventually. You know, in some kind of a transporting kind of situation. Well, thank you for the tour. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's still still a working bus and working in progress. You know. Hey, I have a forty foot diesel pusher over there. It's also a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how much you pay or how new it is, there's always something. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys are delightful. Thank you. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.